Major Flying Products and Mr. Ronald Reagan. That's correct. So what do we got here, Ron? Uh, we got a uh, Fisher Classic. It's a little two-place biplane, 22-foot wingspan, and it's powered by a 582 Rotex liquid-cool gear reduction uh, engine. Uh, I started this aircraft in uh, 1992, October the 12th. I've got 568 hours on it, and I finished it up uh, June the 1st of this year and took it to the airport and made my first flight with it after the uh, FAA inspectors inspected it. For those that are not familiar with the Fisher Classic, what type of construction is it? Uh, this uh, aircraft is all wood. The only thing that's uh, not wood is the aluminum uh, structure that you see that holds the wings up and the main struts and uh, some flying wires and cables. Now, as far as building goes, how did the kit arrive? Did you buy it as a partial kit or did you just buy the whole thing and go from there? No, the kit was, uh, it was, uh, it wasn't a partial kit. It was a complete kit, but I had to build every part on it. It wasn't a partially completed uh, kit. Okay. Uh, any special tools or anything you required to build it? No, it takes very little tools. All you really need is a pair of pruning shears, which works good for all the geodetic uh, crisscross to cut it. A little uh, exacto type saw, and maybe if you have a real small little table saw, maybe s uh, slice of little pieces of plywood or something like that. Uh, that's about all you need. What about the building area that you need? Is there something that you can do in your backyard, or where did you build this? I've got a uh, shop that was 16 foot by 30 foot, and I had a building table that was uh, 16 foot long, and I made sure it was real level, and the two tables were uh, screwed together, just two four by eight sheets of plywood, and it made a real good building surface. Um, how do the, the plans and, and the material that came with the kit is to show you how to build it? How was it as far as uh, your rating system would go? Excellent. <laughs> it's just the plans are very, very self-explanatory. The quality of the wood is, you can tell it's very hand-selected wood. And when you get started on it, uh, you just, I started on the main ribs first, and I found it extremely easy to build. Did you have to deal with the factory a great deal? No, I didn't. Uh, I had a few questions on a few areas, and I just made a phone call up there, and they put the right people uh, on the phone, and just use the... Uh, a uh, few questions and I had my problem solved. How much money would you have wrapped up in this then in actual uh, dollars and cents today? Well, right now I've got a few extras on this, like uh, extra wide uh, tires on it, electric tram, a uh, full instrument panel on the aircraft, and I've got about not quite $14,000 tied up in it. What about the actual uh, instrumentation and stuff like that? What do you got for instrumentation on it? Uh, all my instruments I have in the aircraft are microflight is the brand of instruments I have in it. And the electric trim, trim tab is Max. Um, I'm running out of questions here to ask. <laughs> How have you found the airplane as far as performance compared to what the factory told you it would do? Probably better. I was really surprised the uh, the handling of it in strong winds. Uh, up here this year, we've had some pretty strong winds, crosswinds, and I can handle the plane without any problem at all. And it takes off very short, lands short, and it's just a, a lot of fun to fly. I really enjoy it. Thank you very much for your time. Really appreciate that. Okay, well, thank you.